Lily Flower. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, hi friends. So, if you don't know what Five Below is, I'm gonna give you a quick, teeny tiny little synopsis. Basically, it's a store that carries everything you could ever want for $5 and under. But now I think they have like a $7.50 and under section. And like the CEO of Five Below like hit my line after this because we need to have a serious discussion because that's not Five Below. Anyway, um, amongst all of the other little trinkets and fun things you can find at Five Below. They also have like a huge, huge selection of like snacks and candy and even like little singles, like a single airhead for 10 cents. Come on, a steal. So I'm walking around and I'm looking at all of the candies and the snacks and the good things and I stumble upon not only a box, not just a shelf, an entire aisle of sour candy. And if you know anything about like me, who I am as a person, I like cannot, absolutely under no circumstances, do anything sour, spicy, hot, even a little bit uncomfortable in my mouth region. Not for me. But I was just kind of amazed that there were like so many sour products and I thought, you know, that'd be kind of funny if I filmed it for all of you good people to watch me suffer as I try. Uh, three different sour candies. Okay, so out of all of the crazy weird neon colored candies that I saw I only chose Three because I feel like that's a good solid number three or four were smooth Okay, so the first one that I got was This one a little warheads action. I don't know if you can see this man whose head is literally blowing up. That's the the What is it called? What is their, the logo, obviously, guys, come on. But yeah, Warheads, I feel like I used to get Warheads, like little mini candies in an Easter basket when I was little, like individually wrapped. And that's the only interaction I've had with Warheads. And I remember always giving them to like my cousins or my brother. So I'm not super into sour, never been, but this one looked familiar and it is called Super Sour Double Drops. So it's a liquid candy and there's two in here. Blue raspberry, green apple. What? I feel like blue raspberry can't be sour. Whatever, we'll wait on it. Um, but yeah, it's a little squirty thing. They feel like they're connected, so I think you like do both at once. We'll see. Moving on. Um, toxic waste, slime liquor. This one definitely is not a brand name. Um, just doesn't, it just kind of looks like it's a, a Dollar Tree product. Um, but it's like, it looks like a big chapstick or like that like body roll-on glitter that they used to sell at Bath and Body Works when we were in like second or third grade. I'm not sure if anyone's familiar with that either. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of liquid in here and I'm guessing there's like a candy ball. I'm not familiar with slime liquors. Never heard of it. Um, sour rolling liquid candy and this one's the strawberry flavor. So yeah, we'll see what this one's like. And then, last but absolutely not least, we're keeping it simple with just toxic waste nuclear fusion. That's, we are just keeping it plain and simple. This one doesn't even have a flavor on the outside. This one, it's just flavored as nuclear fusion. That's the flavor. So, I might die. Um, but yeah, this one's in like a little barrel, kind of like it's toxic waste, so I love the presentation of this one. Love that. Okay, so because I don't have the most experience with sour things, I feel like I can't really quantify how sour something is, um, or like what it tastes like, because like what is a good sour taste? I don't know. Hopefully, we'll find out during this video, but I think I'm just gonna just kind of try to give you some good adjectives, some good descriptors um, that will tell you how sour these things are. And if I, if I quantify it, then we'll go from there. But I think we just gotta, we gotta ride the high on this one, guys. We're gonna see where this crazy train takes us um, with two, two items that are named after toxic waste and one with a man's head exploding. So let's, let's do it. Let's do this thing. So luckily this one has one of those little like perforated rip things so we're gonna rip that off okay i think this is a flip cap 
Oh my god. Okay, so it's just two little droppers that are entirely connected. I can't choose which one I want. It's just like you're going to have both of them. I mean, I like the energy. I can kind of see without even like taking any of the liquid out that it's like heavily dyed. Like if I got this on like a white shirt, game over, done. Um, I don't know how to ingest this one really. Do you, do people just like down the hatch? I don't know. Um, maybe I just want to see what it looks like in my hand first. Okay, it's like a gel. Okay, so I think we're just gonna go for both at once, and we're just gonna... All right. Okay. It's not that sour. It's like... <coughs> it's not that sour, but it like makes my jaw muscles ache. And like I feel pain a little bit. Like right here. Very strong aftertaste, very sugary. But with that being said, I really do just love the taste of blue raspberry stuff. So not sour. If you're a baby like me, this is 100% Nicole approved. Warheads, super sour double drops, blue raspberry green apple has my seal of approval. Mwah, delicious. Okay, but one, one quick side note, I'm sure I'm positive there's some weird little kid that uses these like straws and just goes like guaranteed guaranteed and also one other thing who just buys like sour liquid like this isn't like, like I'm doing this for science for research purposes but what kind of maniac just buys sour sugar syrup okay so now that we have the super easy one out of the way. We're gonna try the Toxic Waste Slime Liquor, the very large chapstick looking one. Um, it's really heavy, I will tell you that much. This is two full ounces of Toxic Waste Slime Liquor chapstick type of thing. I don't think it's actually a chapstick, but because it's Toxic Waste and here on this YouTube channel, we love safety. So we're gonna suit up. Because if it's toxic, you think I want my eyeballs exposed to this? No siree, Bob. Okay, let's get into it. So I think we're just gonna, oh. Okay, it's very. I don't think this is right. Um, I feel like the ball part should be inside of this part something happened something's wrong and I don't know since I've never had this before I don't know what is wrong with it good thing I wore these goggles though do I like oh f okay I've gotten I got the ball out the ball is out and I think it's supposed to be like in here like yeah wow if it weren't for these goggles guys we'd all be dead so quick shout out to the specs okay so now that we fixed it and now that our toxic waste slime liquor is back in action i just have a feeling oh i'm really afraid it's all gonna dump out okay all right so this is what it's supposed to look like like i said a weird cha oh my god a weird chapstick we're lucky it didn't burn a hole through the table, am I right? All right, we're gonna we're just gonna do it. So I'm just gonna roll it across my tongue like a sort of glue type of type of thing here. That didn't work like I like I thought it would. So the ball isn't rolling. I think I need to. I just don't think this is working the way they intended it to work, so I feel like I should just drink it. You know, really just to get the toxic waste slime flavor profile. Um, but I put the ball back in and now I don't know how to get it out. Maybe. Mm. 
Okay, I got it that time. Believe it or not, this one's even less sour than the first one. This one's very much like strawberry syrup. This design though, not good. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, Candy Dynamics in Indianapolis. This design was not well thought out. Uh-uh. We're not getting anything. I had to squeeze it just to get some stuff out. But um, not sour at all. Toxic waste, more like schmoxic schmaced. Not even sour a little bit. So right now it goes Warheads, Toxic Waste, Chapstick. That's where we're at. But it's good though. I like fake strawberry flavor. It tastes really good. Okay, next one. Okay, on to the next one. This is what we're really here for. We're here for the little orange toxic waste barrel. They kept it simple. They have a little blue slime ring around it. I love that. Presentation A plus on this one. I don't know why I love this so much. I think I just love like miniature things. It's a good little, just a little guy. Okay, moving on. We're gonna try to open it. Without using our teeth, we're not, okay, we got it. Now I just have to, okay, definitely not, okay. I mean, why would they make a toxic waste barrel easy to open? You know what I mean? That's just a public safety hazard. So I just, <clears throat> okay, so they're all individually wrapped. Wow, what a plot twist for everyone. Did you expect this? I certainly did not. So, I mean, let's get it all out. Oh my God. We hit the jackpot. There's so many candies in here, but if I hate them, we didn't hit the jackpot. But let's see what we have here. So this one's raspberry lemon. This one's pineapple passion fruit, orange apple, Banana blueberry, <laughs> I don't know what they think they're doing. Okay, I think that's all the flavors that we have. Oh, I'm really dropping them. This probably is not good for the environment. Okay, that's, okay, yeah. Those are all the flavors we have. Does it say it on here? Oh, it does. Okay, raspberry lemon, banana blueberry, orange apple, grape strawberry, pineapple passion fruit. So we're gonna try one of each because I have to get the full flavor of all of these. So I'm gonna unwrap them and then I'll show you what they look like. <sighs> okay, honestly, it's getting really hot in here and I think I'd rather die than continue to wear these. I'll, I'll die from the toxic waste. Okay. Oh my God, they're fogged up. There was a whole atmosphere happening in here. Okay. Okay, so since we had this little surprise of five different sour type candies inside my cute little favorite barrel of all time, we're gonna start with, uh, mm, I'm feeling orange apple. Let's do orange apple. It's a little tiny package. This is exactly how I remember the Warheads being in my Easter basket when I was little. Okay, kind of looks like a cough drop. Definitely looks like a cough drop, so we're just gonna... Okay, it burns. For some reason, it's burning me. Oh yeah, this one's sour. Ugh, it like hurts. The back of my throat and I... Ugh. Uh-uh. After you chew it, you get it out. I just gotta get rid of it now. When you chew it, it's really good. It's like a really good candy, like a hard candy. Kind of like a grandmother would give you or like would be in the waiting room at a doctor's office and you'd be like, oh, I want that flavor. So you'd pick through the bowl and you'd only look for that flavor. The outside is like so sour though that like it still kind of hurts my face. But the inside candy is really good. That was good stuff. Let's go to the next one. Okay, next one. Raspberry lemon, 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 lemon. They're so small. Like I really cannot express to you like how 
small these little things are okay and then when we open it, it just looks like another cough drop okay oh my god it's like really sour like right off the bat Peel of sour stuff, it's kind of like a roller coaster in your mouth a little bit because you're like, whoa, 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 and then it's over, and then you want to do it again. Raspberry lemon's good. It's that one was like the lemon really like set that one over the edge when it comes to sour. So we're gonna move on to the next one. I like it, I like sour stuff. Okay, next one grape strawberry, a strange mix of flavors. They're very small. Very small. They have like kind of like the tin foil packaging of like uh, like a pack of Pokemon cards or Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Like it's like the same type of like kind of feeling. And then I'm gonna open it right there because I can just okay. There's like double lined plastic in here. I guess it is a food item. Jesus. Okay. Grape strawberry looks a little brown. That's fine. Um, all right, enough of that. We're gonna go for it. Once again, very sour. <laughs> very. <laughs> oh my God, that one hurts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I have real life tears in my eyes. Uh. Ooh. Oh, it's still sour. It's not stopping. Some way it can stop. <coughs> oh. Grape strawberry was hands down the most sour one yet. Oh my god. It was good though. It has the same like fake grape taste that Hai Chu has, if anyone's ever had grape Hai Chu. Ooh, this is my spit container if anyone's wondering. If it ever gets to the point, if it ever gets to the point that I need to spit them out, it's gonna go right back into the little canister. Okay, and now that I'm looking at it, on the side of the cutest little toxic waste barrel there ever was, it says time in mouth and it has like a sliding scale and it says total what? Well, okay, wait. 15 seconds, you're a total wuss. 30 seconds, you're a crybaby. What the fuck? 45 seconds, you're a toxy wannabe. What the fuck? What does that mean? 60 seconds, you're a full toxy head. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I wanna be a full toxie head. I don't think I like the way that sounds or the implications that go along with that. But I don't know if you can see it, but that little scale right there on the side, they put it really small just in case, just in case um, no one was down with the language that they're using, toxie head. But yeah, I just noticed that. <sighs> Ugh. Now I feel like every time I take a sip of something, I'm expecting it to be sour, so my mouth hurts a little bit. I feel like I traumatized my sensory, my, my salivary glands, but for, by doing this. 
<laughs> okay. Okay, this next one is pineapple passion fruit. The only flavor combo out of all of these that makes sense. Pineapple passion fruit. Um, we're gonna open this little packaging like this. Hmm, a nice highlighter yellow. It's always comforting to eat foods the same color as a highlighter. And we're just gonna... Mm, nothing yet. Oh, there it is. Ugh. Uh -uh. Ugh. That one's rough. That one is aggressive. It hurts. Oh, good. Uh-uh, that one's like... Uh -uh. Mm. Mm. There's no way. That one's like... Oh, it's super aggressive. Like, I can still feel it in my mouth. That one is definitely the most sour, and I cannot... I can't do that one. Wow. Oh, that was painful. I still feel it. I have the ghost of that pineapple passion fruit inside the right of my mouth right now. Woo! I'm a I'm a big baby. That one's not happening. So this one's definitely the most sour. I mean, we do have one more. But I don't know if you can see it in there. There was no way I was finishing that one. I'm gonna send this one right back to hell where it came from. So now that that's over, that extremely traumatizing experience was over, um, we're on to our last one. I have a good feeling about this one. Banana blueberry, very cute flavor, very breakfasty. This one's the breakfast sour candy, in case anyone's wondering. Gonna open it. Aw, cute. This one looks like it would be minty. Like you'd get this in a pack of hard candies from the dollar store and you'd be like, mmm, blue raspberry, but it would actually be like a weird peppermint. I don't think it's peppermint. All right. They're always very subtle in the beginning. You gotta get the first level of preservatives off. Um. Mm -mm. <coughs> this one's very sour. It's like going up my nose into my eyeballs. We had to mercy kill that one. That would have been too much, but I cannot spit out two. The candy was really good. More blue, I thought to say blueberry, more blue raspberry than banana for sure. It's like whenever you put the sour candy in your mouth, you have to like wait for your spit to kind of dissolve the coating and then you get to the sour and then you get to the good candy part. That one was like second to pineapple passion fruit. The one that's, you know, we're just gonna seal this one up. Not even worth our time anymore. But yeah, that one was definitely second worst, for sure. The only way to get this one to work is to force it out. Ugh, ugh. Delicious. Ah. I'm gonna have at least eight cavities after this. At least. <clears throat> well, now that that's over, um, I need to cleanse my palate. So, big surprise that the toxic waste was actually five candies inside of one. So, really, if you think about it, we just tried six candies. Seven candies. I'm not good at math. 
but I am good at trying stuff. So if you guys have any suggestions on what you want me to try next, let me know. Um, I'm going to throw this the heck out because that pineapple passion fruit was like the worst thing I've ever tried in my life. This one's actually really good. I'm going to be honest with you guys. It doesn't work like it should, but once you get to like the strawberry flavoring, it's really good. I think I'm going to go ahead and say that this one was my favorite. Yeah, out of all of them, the slime liquor definitely takes the cake. Definitely the best one. But yeah, if you guys have any um, suggestions on what you want me to try next, let me know. I usually do it in like threes or fours because if I did it in like, I don't know, say seven, the video might... <clears throat> I really have like eight different sour flavors happening right now. But if it goes on to like say seven candies, it's going to be a little bit too much. But yeah, give me your ideas and I'll try anything. Okay, so that's the end of it. I've tried all the candies and my face really hurts. So now I'm going to go drink a gallon of water to try to not get cavities. Oh my god, I have to brush my teeth. I'm going to brush my teeth and drink a gallon of water. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Beep, beep, beep. It's like Disney Channel.